And hey, there's a waterfall event the other day. Oh, it happened. It, it kept going. Jamie Diamond's now speaking. Hey, great, Jamie. Thank you, because I just got me a bunch more Bitcoin. I bought some more Litecoin. I, you know, thanks, Jamie. You know, it's just, and I tell them that too. And then, then they're like, okay, yeah, cool. So, like I said, the one guy. By matter of fact, both of them are probably sitting here saying, no, oh, my my portfolio is up already. That was fast, you know. That's really amazing. I I had some people sell out on bought some Litecoin at forty two, and uh, sold out at seventy eight, and uh, uh, are we're waiting for the generalized downturn. And they're using this guy out of England, his system, and uh, then they're going to buy back in. Their target, I think, was around sixty four or something. So they made the delta there in way one way of thinking from forty two to seventy into the 70s, but then really in another way from 64 up to the 70s, because that's that's their buyback in basis. Mm. And, and I, you know, I'm really, I'm puzzled about how you even address that kind of thing on your taxes, right? How you would even <laughs> describe this shit to the IRS. But I know. anyway, um, they're, they're out of England anyway, so they've got to deal with their own inland revenue service on that kind of thing. And they've got algorithms for all of this, but they're actually expecting that and th these guys trade based on, uh, I guess you'd have to say inside rumors. They'd hunt down rumors, and that's how they'd contacted me to see if I could validate the particular rumor language that they had heard about Litecoin. And and I was able to say, yeah, I've I've seen the same thing uh, with uh, within the spiders, and it has to do with some technical um, uh, successes. Okay, not the atomic stuff, but that goes a little ways towards it because the idea is going to be that Litecoin will come up, as the data has said way back when, as a competitor to Ethereum. Not necessarily as a coin competitor, but as a network base, as a smart contract carrier. And so uh, Litecoin has got some function uh, appearing within this, and these guys are betting on that. And so their next target is, their next time they're going to be selling down, or selling out, or whatever their their terminology is, is 119, and uh, uh, that's their target. So they're buying back in at 64, and they expect it'll go to 119 as a result of the what they see as these technical things that are developing. Now, what actually struck us here was the um, uh, Chinese, uh, the government, uh, deciding to um, uh, calm things down and try and shut things down in anticipation of the new five-year plan that's going to be coming out. And in order to do that, or well, the way that they did that with the rumors and the creation of the FUD and then all of this sort of thing, it generally suppressed everything uh, across crypto space over the, like the last 25 or 30 days. And we'll, we'll do so and lead up into October, into those last 10 days. And then we'll see stuff start breaking out again, such that by the time we're into next spring, there's Chinese ICOs all to hell and gone, um, but in a much more uh, much more regulated fashion. Uh, 